Yo, what is up guys? It is Primetime Gaming back at it again with another episode of MLB The Show 17 and today I'm going to be talking about all the new content for MLB The Show so let's get right into this. So first we have the new event that will start tomorrow I am assuming 12 p.m. Pacific and 3 p.m. Eastern Time because that's usually when all the events start but uh, let's look at the event info so yeah I was right about that and it's a three inning game all-star difficulty uh, 78 overall limit um, what are the rewards the rewards are 12 win streak is all-star Jonathan Broxton 91 overall closing pitcher doesn't seem like the best reward in my opinion, but no, uh, maybe you still want to go for it. Maybe he actually has like really good pitches or something, but I don't know. And then uh, nine game is all-star flashback as Drupal Cabrera. Six game is a live series silver and a three win streak is a guaranteed bronze player. And then for the cumul ah, cumulative wins, you have um, all-star flashback to Kobe Ellsbury, 96 diamond. So that, that's going to be an interesting card because I remember there was a flashback last year. But was there a diamond flashback? Because I know there was a gold, but I don't know if there was a diamond last year. Maybe there was. But the 25 cumulative wins is all-star flashback Jordan Zimmerman, diamond. So that's interesting because normally the 25 wins are like gold players but this one is a diamond and then for the 10 cumulative wins you have a guaranteed silver player and for five wins you have a guaranteed bronze player so yeah it's like always double elimination so yeah let's go right into the other things the next thing are the um uh, the time limited missions because if you come under this category right here time limited you will see two new things i mean these have been out for a while so if you haven't gotten these then just you just have to collect like home run balls so yeah you're supposed to only do like one like you're only supposed to vote for like nl or al and then vote for one person but some people do both teams but i, I honestly don't care what you do but um so if you tally 25 all-star hits on july 11th uh you will get this uh jim edmonds card so yeah it i wonder what the stats are i don't know if there is any stats um and also with this it's back 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 it's uh tally 10 home runs with any of the uh uh live series participants in the home run derby and then you get this 85 todd frazier so yeah um i honestly don't think i'll be using these cards but they'd be nice to have because like just uh the more golds i have or i wonder if you could sell them if you could tell them that could be nice so I just looked through both the pages and I'm assuming you cannot sell these cards so don't do this and then think you can sell because I'm pretty sure you can't sell either of the cards so yeah um, yeah as I look in the 85 I don't see any Todd Frazier so yeah so don't get your hope up thing you can sell them because you can't sell them they're gonna be non-sellable but yeah make sure you do this if you want to like just or maybe for collections for like uh because right now i didn't even know i was this close on the impact veteran stats so yeah um i i'm just thinking about doing the hanley just because i'm this close on the stats anyways and if I go to right here, I am 48. Yeah, 48. So let me see. I'm assuming that Todd Frazier has at least 90 power. Yeah. At least 90 power. Probably not 90 content, but 90 power for him. And what's the Jim Edmonds? He's an 87. No, I don't. 
think he has either. Unless I'm just missing his card. No, I don't think I'm missing his card, but yeah. Um, so that would be nice just to get one more player in there. So I could get 49 and then maybe but like buy a player. But everybody, I'm pretty sure it's like super expensive. So yeah. So that will wrap up the video guys and I will see you guys next time.